is Timothy Burke, and I'm the architect for the project. With me is the owner of the condominium that's the uh, subject property, Mr. Glenn Taylor. And uh, we appeared about a month ago here with the uh, council, and um, I will quickly uh, review. The issue is that um, there's a basement portion of the first floor unit. This is the existing plan right here. And um, this was turned into a condominium 24 years ago. It's been used as habitable space, but recently came to the attention of the city or to my client and that the original developer never made that across their keys and not their eyes when they did this conversion. So we're seeking permission to legalize the use of this uh, lower level as part of the unit. The uh, issues that are uh, before the Zoning Board of Appeal, where we appear on August 23rd at 11.30 a.m., is FAR, open space, and parking. And these are uh, issues that we've heard about tonight. These are common issues in the content where the zoning was written after the buildings were built. So the, um, we're not looking to change in terms of the number of occupants of how this apart, uh, condominium is used. So we, uh, we don't feel that these issues are uh, critical items for the neighborhood. It will be continued to be used just as it has been for 24 years. As part of uh, the discussion last week, the neighbor, uh, or last month, the neighbor, Mr. Kalek, came by to voice his uh, concerns with egress for, that affects the entire condominium. And we've been uh, working to try to get him to work out an agreement with him. He hasn't been available because he's been on vacation. And uh, uh, Glenn has tried numerous times to reach him, has spoken with his wife. And at the last meeting, he said he was willing to work with us, but we have not been able to uh, put that on paper yet. The, uh, so he knew you guys were coming here tonight, he's just on vacation? What I, I talked to his, his wife about two and a half weeks ago, and she said they were in New York, and he would call me when he got back last week. And when he didn't call on Thursday, by Thursday, I called and got her voicemail again. I said that there was a meeting on Monday night and uh, I would like to talk to him at least before then to get some resolution with this and we have to put that to him. Can I ask you a question? The, 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 against the egress issue is over private property. That's what the issue is. The issue is that you want to legalize your egress through this property. Well, this is a whole separate issue from so we do it in my big, it's back here. It's not looking at that issue. The uh, issue is FAR, open space, and concrete. So you don't have an inverse issue? That has not come up. We want to resolve it because it affects the entire condominium. And it's something that's been done for 24 years. But we want to just come to a legal agreement with them. But in terms of what, you know, the reason we came to the council in the first place, that's a separate issue. What kind of Yeah, his problem was that it was being used for ingress to this unit, Mr. Taylor's unit. That's been stopped and will never happen again. The issue is we would like permission only in an emergency to cross through his passageway and get out to Thatcher Court because this is no longer a, a potential exit for the residents of the condominium. They all drop down through a fire escape to this courtyard. So we're all very concerned about it. Right now it works okay, because there is no lock on the gate. And we just want to work it out with the neighbor. But again, that's that's not the issue that was before the zoning board of appeal in office. So can I clarify here? We tabled this last month over an issue that we thought would be easily resolvable, but it really wasn't central to what? Correct. So we were, there would be no point in tabling it again because you're not going to be arguing at the ZBA about the egress. You're going to be arguing about FAR, about open space. Uh, open space. Okay, right. that's correct. Right. That's uh, correct. Thank yes. you for the clarification. We're just we're trying to be good neighbors and work things out, and I think we still can. No, no, I, I understand. Yeah, it has to be worked out at some point. The, the only issue, the only issue is again, you're not talking about an alley. You're talking about access to private property. You know? right. and you need that as an egress. So you're you're, you're not just you, know, you have to understand that also you put in the person that owns the property liable for anything that may happen to those people as they cross private property. So this is not an issue that we can really decide on unless you come up with a discussion on the fact with that. And I don't think that the the, the the city is going to give you a permit to uh, have a property, a piece of property without proper egress. And that, that if, the, if that egress was built part of 
as part of what was done not legally 24 years ago. Yeah. They're going to still get you on that. I mean, I well, understand. It's not egress just for the, like, it's for the whole building. It's not no, just I understand that. that. Yeah. I understand We're that. Like I, understand that. I understand that. I understand that. But yeah. as, as, I mean, you, you, you will oh, yeah. sympathize with I the owner know. of a property that yes. if yes. somebody yes. had to go through your house to get to a safe place, you actually become liable for the safety while they're going to your house. So I don't know where. This is actually a very common event in the yeah. city of Boston. The fire Every building shares. You go through yeah. someone else's window. Exactly. It's considered only an emergency issue. So I mean, it happens everywhere. But the point is, I don't think it's even something we're allowed to even discuss because it's not before us. No, no it's not before us, and it's of a private nature because it's within yeah. private property. So we can go ahead and vote on their, on their right. nature. Yeah, yeah okay. but uh, do we have the copy of the application? Yeah, we have the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the issue before us uh, at, at the last meeting was uh, Glen Taylor has applied to the City of Boston Zoning Board and PLC the Commission to extend living space of the first floor condominium into the basement. That's correct. Yeah. That was what was before us because that's what. And there was nothing in there that spoke. The city had not, has not touched on the egress at all. They haven't talked about the egress. They don't have any. any, any no, because it works now. The issue is just. No, 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 that it no. works now. That's understandable. You say that it works now. It works for you now. It right. obviously doesn't work for the landlord of the property that the, the exit is going through. So that's going to come up somewhere, whether or not the guy is on vacation. I, I saw the, the, the plans. Was there, originally, was there another means of egress in the front of the building there where it looks like? Probably originally you could have gone through that's this suspended. passageway. When they uh, turned it into a condominium, they filled it with water heaters and mechanical oh, okay, equipment. So that's and mechanical. Okay. Gotcha. Plus, this door is only about four and a half feet. Right, right. I missed it. I know. Okay. So you basically inherited a, a problem that you didn't yes. really He's been paying taxes on No, no, it's, it's understandable. But you right. also got to understand the other side of the coin. The person who wants the other property separate from your problem got an issue with people coming in and out of his property without that's the only issue that you know we see we have nothing against your project and I feel your pain because you actually got sucker into buying something that is not what they said it was right. but I also understand the position of the other landlord and I do understand that the necessity for somebody to talk to the landlord and try to solve that thing my understanding was that that he was willing to sit with you guys yes. and talk about he it. Say that. So it is say, I think it's essential that we talk about that issue with them. I mean, I don't know what the rest of the application is or what the bill is, but uh, I mean, you you just keep in mind that you carry on, you get your approval to do what you do, and let's say that your neighbor, your brother there, is completely against you, exiting through there, you're going to have another violation against you. You're going to be back to square one. Yes, that's, yes. that's an issue for our whole condominium association. Oh, I understand. I understand. Uh, you know. no, is there any way for you to put an egress to your apartment? Just to, while you, while you, while you, well, you know, do you have windows in the front of the basement? Do you have any means to put There's a small window that's higher and that's allowed for egress. Yeah, it's 40, so, yeah, it's 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, just trying to cover your end in any way, you know what I'm saying? Because then the condo association can discuss what they want with the rest of it. As long as you, as you're doing your repairs now, if you can include an additional egress, you might end up with an extra egress, but you might be better off by it. Yeah, it's like the fix. I can send you one tomorrow. I'd be happy to email it to you. I have your email. Okay. So it says here your application requires a reason the board of appeal is saying would be a violation of the boss's only point to put chapter 65 as a floor area ratio excessive usable open space is sufficient. And all street park. All street park. The only reason that this even was brought to light was because of he had a, he had a water problem at one point. And when it rained last year, what did you try to get? In springtime, the flood. And then in the set, then you tried to what? Do some work here, permits, permits, and, they, and, and, they, and they when you tried to pull the permit, that's when it threw off. Yeah. Happy yeah, <laughs> yeah. Quite more surprising. Do any of the council members have any questions or comments? Anybody? Okay, anybody from the uh, Yes, what uh, what is before you to vote on? To expand the living space into the into the basement of this asset. That's the only thing that's before you, right? Right. Thank you. Okay, can we take a vote now, please? Um, all in favor of supporting this application? I know. Okay. 
Congratulations. Thank you for coming Thanks back. Thanks for doing this again. Thank you really for it. your effort. Try to contact Wilkins, Ross. I think he'll work with you. I know I think you're trying to get that out of the way, you know? The only thing you need is some. Yeah. 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 Thank you.